It's ready to explode The top's gonna blow Lava will flow From the big volcano The big volcano Blow its top The big volcano It's gonna pop The big volcano Play Picture House, and today we are having a look at the Schleck Giant Volcano with T Rex. I hope you saw the earlier video where I built this. 
Today we're going to do a bit of a review and have a look at all the elements and features of the set. In the earlier video I thought it was a little bit claustrophobic so I've built a slightly bigger set to do this. Let's start with our T-Rex. The blue T-Rex appears to be exactly the same as the previous green one, just a different paint job. There's the two. They've even got the tongue in the same position, so I assume it's the exact same mould. Just different paint job. I've always liked the green one, but at the moment, I guess because it's new, I like the, the blue one. Of course it's beautifully made like all the Schleck figures. I always thought the old T-Rex looked a bit like a chicken and I think this one does too. And it even bounces the same. I've always liked the way they bounce. This set also comes with this cool Stegosaurus. This is my other Schleck Stegosaurus. This one appears to be slightly bigger, particularly the spikes in the tail. In addition to the living Stegosaurus, you also get a Stegosaurus skeleton in this set. You could either use this, I guess, set up like this, or you could pull it apart and leave it strewn around as if it's a fossil being found. Let's have a look at our volcano. The most dramatic part of the volcano is the beautiful orange lava that contrasts so well against the rocks. I like how it looks like it's folded material. The bubbling lava at the top of the volcano. I like how they've included this rock so the lava goes on either side of it. Kind of like in Lord of the Rings. And if you notice, the rock appears to be like an eagle's head. You see the beak and the eye, it's like an eagle's head. One cool little feature is this pond, which you can actually pick up. There's currently a fish and a frog inside. Here's our frog. Ribbit. 
A flying fish. I'm not sure where it can fly. <laughs> Straight into the lava. I like how it looks like real water. I can see the frog looking up saying, I'm not a tadpole anymore, let me out. There's only actually two plants in this whole set. There's that one, and then this one, which are pretty standard Schleck plants. There is this fallen stump and branch, which is actually set up as a trap. So you move those apart like that and if you see this bit sticking up, the dinosaur comes along, steps on it and then is trapped in the tree branch. I'm not sure who set this trap. So if we have a look from above, pull it apart and it sets the trap. Then our unsuspecting dinosaur walks in, steps on there, and is trapped. What do you think of being trapped, Mr. T-Rex? Somehow I don't think that would be too much of a problem for him. So here's another feature of this set. You can build this part of the wall up. And there is a pteranodon fossil in the wall. The issue that my set has, I'm not sure if this is a standard mistake or that I've just been given the wrong one. In my set there are two of one of the rocks. So you can't complete the pteranodon because I don't have that piece. So I assume there's another piece which features the entire wing of the pteranodon similar to on the other side. I'm not sure if that's a mistake they've made in all the sets or just in my set. The idea is that the dinosaur comes along and thinks, I'm going to climb that volcano. Goes to do that and steps on this and the wall collapses landslide on the dinosaur so that is a cool feature it's a little bit disappointing that one of the rocks was incorrect there's a couple of entrances into the cave this particular entrance has some stalactites And there seems to be a lot of traps in this particular set. So the unsuspecting dinosaur will come along and press this little part up here and the stalactites will fall down. Uh, so a dinosaur that was under there would be stalactited. It also comes with some stalagmites. I hope I've got that right. I think stalagmites go up and stalactites go down. If you know lots about stalagmites and stalactites, leave some information in the comments below. But my guess is it's meant to go somewhere in the cave so you can get that type of effect. Then your stegosaurus can go into the cave and admire the stalagmites and even the stalactites. Whilst being harassed by a Tyrannosaurus rex. So what do you think of the Schleck Giant Volcano? If you have ideas for videos in the future, please leave them in the comments below. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. And subscribe to Press Play Picture House to see more videos. See you next time.